Okay, let's take a look at the fourth exercise from the exam set in statistics from uh, 2018. This question goes on uh, analyzing data about uh, different types of uh, food for chickens and see how that uh, affects uh, the weight of the chickens. So first of all, we are asked to load the data from the file chickenweights.csv and describe the weight distributions of the two groups of chickens. So uh, chicken, chicken weights or feeding chickens. And then we have the 4A. Load and describe data. So first of all, we have these uh, chicken weights, and we want to read the data into the system using uh, read CSV, because the data resides in a CSV file. Um, and let's see if this is uh, enough. Um, we can see that the file has been passed with these uh, column specifications, so there should be an ID a weight and a feed uh, to the chicken and we can look into the data over here that was the chicken weights so we can see there is a false running uh, id up here or at least some of the values are missing but uh, we can also see that we have some um, some values here for the weight of the chickens and what they have been feed been feeded with and in this case, uh, they have gotten soybean, and some of the other chickens have got horse beans. So there are some differences between the feed, and there might also be a difference in their weight. So now we load the data, and we should also describe the data. And to describe the data, it um, makes sense to, to make a plot. Where's the data? Let's load using the read csv function and that data is, is visualized using ggplot so we have this chicken weights that we push into ggplot and how should we uh, illustrate this we could use for instance a box plot and for that we need to specify the aesthetics and there was something about the feed and the weight of the chickens and let's see what we get out of it here um, yeah when I look at the data here, it seems that uh, the soybean or the chickens that have been feeded with soybean have significantly larger, has a significantly uh, higher weight, average weight than the uh, chickens feed fed with horse beans. Um, but this wasn't the exercise for this task, um, or the task for this exercise. We should only describe the distributions and uh, we can describe it in in different ways uh, we could uh, yeah um, just based on on the plot here we can see that the uh, mean value of the two things are approximately 100 grams apart and we see that there is some uh, coverage uh, in here so let's see if we can describe this, this with a few numbers. Um, uh, feed it with... Um, oh, there was some background noise here. Sorry for that. Chickens feed it with uh, soybean has an average weight of proxy 
roughly 250 grams while the chickens feed it with horse beans as an average weight of approximately 150 grams. Um, I assume that the, the weights of the chickens are in, in grams. Um, I don't think they are actually uh, mentioned anywhere uh, what they uh, are given within, so so we can't actually tell. If we open the file here, we might be able to, to see something. Um, but yeah, well, the file is just a, a camera separated file, and there's no additional information about what the uh, what units are used for the weight uh, column. So we don't know. Um, we can also see that the deviation of the two uh, values here are more or less on, on the same order of magnitude, plus or minus uh, is that from 250 uh, to 270 plus 20 and from 250 down to 200 is minus uh, 40, 50 so and the uncertainty is a bit lower here um, but in both cases the standard variation is is uh, close to uh, 40 uh, grams. And what I write here is that I'm not sure what's actually the, the right uh, value of, of the unit of the uh, chickens that the weights are specified within. And to make clear what I actually want to do in the exercise set here, I clearly write that I assume that the weights of the chickens are given in grams, and then I can continue onwards. That makes it possible for the both the examiner and the sensor to follow what you have uh, thought about uh, here. And then I can uh, make a small conclusion. So it seems that there is a difference between the two groups. But this difference is not validated anyhow. We haven't computed any p-values or whatever to, to support this. But we can do that in, uh, in exercise 4b. We should uh, uh, see is there a difference. And in this case, we actually have um, all the raw measurements, so it's quite easy to use the, the function t test and see if we can uh, fill it in with the, the proper values. So uh, I need to yeah, I think it can be done like this. So we have the the chicken weights and on the first column we need to specify the value we want to and on the next one we can state which type of feed they were given. Um, okay, um, what it complained about before 
is that uh, this was not a true false arrival. Uh, the t-test can only manage um, two cases or two groups of, of data um, and to generate a true false uh, value here I compare the feed with uh, the value horse bean so if the feed is horse bean then this becomes true and now we're able to compute a, a p-value and so on and what we are given here is that we Nope. I messed up this. I can see it, the output here because we have the mean of x and the mean of y. The mean of y is close to one half and it's definitely not one of the groups. So I should um, change this to, to the equation where I would like to see how the Uh, the weight depends on the feed and now we get it here it makes a bit more sense now we have seen on, on the data earlier that the mean in the horse bean group is 160 and the mean in the soy group, bean group is uh, 246 and we can calculate both some degrees and freedoms and p-values and so on and what is seen up here is we get a very low p-value um, so uh, there seems to be a significant difference uh, between the two groups but before I can conclude anything we would like to to write a, a few lines about what we have done here um, so uh, t-test is used to compare the means of the two populations um, no hypothesis is that the means of the two populations are, uh, are identical And given this information, we can then call the t-test and based on the result from the t-test p-value equals um, we can uh, discard the uh, null um, hypothesis and therefore conclude that there is a significant difference between the two groups. I think that's more or less was everything needed to, to solve this uh, exam set. I'll just generate a PDF and see if everything is in place. And there it is. So we have all the, the last exercise here. Quite large graph. That could be reduced a bit in size, but it's not that important. What we have, uh, what we have done, you can see uh, a few lines of code and so on. That's fine. Um, and we can compare the distribution, and we get the output here. And yeah, so that seems fine. One thing I would like to change is the size of this uh, plot. I think it's way too big. Um, but apart from that, it's uh, very good. I think. I'll just see if I can make it a bit smaller, like here. Seems okay. And a final trip, uh, trick. I like to uh, 
uh, rotate these so we have the, the weights on this axis and uh, other information about on the on the y axis. Good. We could also add a bit more information on, on the axis. Um, so we have both the, the weight and the feet. Uh, Um, it seems like I mixed up these two because of the chord flip. I'll just change the X and Y here. And what else could we change here? Mm. I'll just make this a bit smaller also. Um, and what was the size of this one? I think it's okay. So I'll just knit it all and then uh, I have something to, to hand in for the exam. Um, if I need to add anything, it would be an exam number or other identifier of me, but because the exam will be handed in electronically, it's not really needed. Uh, so, yeah. Good. I think we're in place for, for this, and handing in an, an exam set like this will earn a very nice grade. Good. I hope you got something out of this.